Okay, Scorpio, welcome to Tourmaline and Tarot. We're going to do rest of December read here. What do we got going on here? Well, five of cups. What are we, coulda, shoulda, woulda -ing. Are we going to take that energy with us? You might just be reflective. Not everything has to be like a, you know, defeat or whatever. But I think, if anything, and with this King of Swords reversed and the Six of Wands reversed, there could have been an ego ding where something that you felt like you should have been recognized for fell through. And it, maybe you're thinking like, well, if I did it this way, if I did it that way, or you might actually just be thinking flat out, well, okay, I'm underappreciated. There is a level of that. Um, and the King of Swords reversed means you're not, um, not that you're not strong, but you could not be telling people about it or you are a little more wounded than you're letting on, potentially. What is this about here? So it's the moon with the Knight of Wands reversed. There is a level of like you're, if anything was outward, you're turning it in. It's a little more introspective, especially with the moon. There's figuring stuff out. It's like, you know, especially with that Knight of Wands reverse, it's like you're not doing stuff. If you were real gung-ho, you're kind of taking a step back. If you're really enthusiastic, you're not really saying as much as you did. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like in a depressed, like, woe is me kind of way. It's more of like a, you know what? You know, it's like that scorpionic quiet. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you see the wheels turning, but they're not saying nothing. Okay? Grandpa's like that. I'm like, oh, no. Grandpa's quiet. <laughs> He's thinking of something. So, yeah, there there is that scorpionic quiet. And, like, you're there. Now, what about this? How How is Scorpio going to move out of this kind of hush-hush vibe here? Oh, we're going to put it down. I just get this drop of like it's hot. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, Scorpios are smart. And if their feathers get ruffled, you know, they take note, but they move on. You know, have you ever had a grudge with a, you know, a Scorpio have a grudge on you? It's not that they're mean about it. It's just, oh, they're going to remember. Oh, Pepperidge Farm remembers. So here we go. Six of wands reversed. What are we talking? Oh, three of wands wanted to come out. How are we going to kind of move through that? Knight of cups, four of cups reversed. Back on the horse, baby. Back in there. I'm not disappointed. You're disappointed. Oh, you thought that was good enough? Guess what? I'll show you better. And not in an ego way. But it's just like a yeah. Okay. I got other fish to fry. I got other stuff to do. Now, how is Scorpio going to put it down? Well, like I said, a lot of introspection. A lot of kind of figuring some stuff out. Or there's a Pisces in Virgo that's kind of... Uh, I'm not going to say being annoying the cancer too, but it's more like you are maybe looking for more guidance potentially with the hanged man reverse. This is somewhere that you haven't looked. This is something that you haven't thought of. So there's new ideas, but they haven't shown up yet because this guy's still reversed, but you are figuring out like a new way to do stuff. If something hasn't worked traditionally, I don't know. This has been a theme where everyone's like, you know what? I got a bigger, better idea. I got something that's going to knock your socks off. It could just be your own socks. And like you're not, like I said, Scorpio is not really advertising right now. But with this Five of Cups, what was it that like... Hello. It, yeah, you had to kind of put a fork in something. And kind of something that felt like it should have worked or could have worked. And you kind of had to move away from something. And you, you have some feels about it. You're processing that. Now, what exactly was that for Scorpio? Something didn't grow and something didn't go. You still had to go. You might have still had some enthusiasm when you had to put a fork in it or call time. But it's like there's something that's getting reconfigured. Like I said, you're thinking through something that might not be terribly traditional. Or the idea hasn't come yet, but it's like almost there. Because, you know, I'm not saying you're off licking your wounds, but, you know, 
you put some band-aids on it and you're ready to just keep on moving so we have the bouquet which is offers stuff coming in like i said it's like boom surprise <laughs> everything's coming up scorpio on the back end and now the lion is a surprise card but also lions are able to roar back they kind of carry their weight too it's not just like um you know, lightning that strikes anywhere, the surprise card. Yeah, and there's going to be agreements. There's going to be meeting in the middle on something. There's going to be, you could be pulling people towards you or you're going towards people that are going to kind of share a new thing with you. I'm not getting a ton of love stuff, but what is this about with the handshake? Yeah, there's new commitments and kind of stuff coming in. There's new, and this is tower. It's not tarot tower. This is like, Hierophant, if anything. And the rider is messenger. That's that's the dude that moves fast. So when this goes, it's going to go. Um, anything that you get given, documentation-wise, etc., review it. Um, like I said, don't let any surprises pop in, like even if it's a good surprise, because you have new beginnings with the children. I don't think anyone's going to try and swindle you, but just make sure, you know, Everything's on the up and up. It's going to be a long-term opportunity with a lot of recognition. With. This is the lilies. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. This is destiny. This is everything kind of lining up together. You know, this is, like I said, it's like my Wheel of Fortune card. Um, Yeah, so it's like almost like the divine timing kicks in. Where anything that you went through before was almost like a trial run. It's like a practice run. And you, you did it and you were like, well, I could have done different, but it's like everything that happened had to happen. So you know how to show up for this one. I know that sounds incredibly trite and annoying, but you know what, you'll know what I mean when you get there. So moving on to the animal spirit oracle. All right. That's too many even for me, but on the top was Raven, Raven, which is shaman. All right. This is better. Sea turtles, protection, you are a master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. Okay? Yeah, so it might be a little bit of back to the drawing board situations, but once you get to that drawing board, you're like drawing the Mona Lisa, the Sistine Chapel, like you're on top of it. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have, and I'll talk to you later.